video of sewing machine FHSM 505. You can create a variety of fun projects with the FHSM 505 multifunctional domestic sewing machine. This machine is easy to use for beginning and advanced sewers alike. Its include 12 different stitches, sewing sleeves, automatic thread rewind, built-in sewing light, adjustable high and low speed, change the presser foot to sew different fabrics and crafts. You can use it to change the old cloth and make an unique new one, or make pillow, small cloth for pets or dolls, a cute cup mat, curtains, bags, etc. It will be a good helper for your living. Now, let's get start to know how to use this machine. Threading the machine. 1. Threading the upper thread. Put a spool on the thread spindle. Put on the thread spindle cover. Pull the thread in counterclockwise so it passes through the bobbin winder tension disc down through the gap. Pull it back up as the arrow shows. Go through the take-up lever hole from right to left. Then go through the hole next to the needle clamp screw from up to down. Easily thread the needle by sticking the needle threader through the eye from back to front. Pull the thread out about 15 centimeters. Caution, it's very important to thread in a correct way. Please follow each step carefully. The needle eye must be threaded from front to back, otherwise the machine may not sew. 2. Replacing the bottom bobbin. Slide the bobbin cover off and remove the empty bobbin. Put the new bobbin in the holder with the thread going clockwise. Hold the needle thread with left hand and right hand turn the hand wheel counterclockwise only one round. Then the needle thread will pick up the bobbin thread and pull it up through the hole under the needle. Separate the two threads and pull them to the back of the machine under the presser foot, leaving about 15 centimeters hanging there. Restore the bobbin cover. Caution! Always make sure the bottom thread is picked up from the hole under presser foot, with about 15 centimeters hanging out in clockwise direction before you start to sew. Winding the bottom bobbin. First, Take the top and bottom thread off, unwind some thread from a bigger spool, pull the thread under the bobbin winder tension disc, put an empty bobbin on the bobbin winder pin, put the thread through any one of the metal holes on the bobbin, then push the bobbin to the right, towards the hand wheel, to lock the bobbin. Hold on to the thread, turn the hand wheel 5 to 6 rounds to wind the thread on the bobbin several circles. Cut the thread tail, then turn on the power switch to start winding. When you have enough thread wound on, turn off the power switch to stop winding. Cut the thread, push the bobbin to the left away from the hand wheel and take the bobbin off. Caution! Make sure there is no thread in the machine before you wind a new bobbin because this could cause the thread jamming. Replacing the needle 1. Hold the old needle and loosen the needle clamp screw. Remove the needle and discard it responsibly. Two. Insert the new needle into the clamp with the flat side of the needle toward the presser foot bar and push the needle all the way up. 3. Then tighten the screw. Caution! Always turn off the switch or unplug the adapter before you change the needle. Make sure the new needle faces the right direction and the screw is tightened. Replacing the presser foot.
Turn the hand wheel counterclockwise to raise the needle to its highest position. Raise the presser foot lifter and press the presser foot locking lever. The presser foot will drop off automatically from the locking device. Put the presser foot under the presser foot locking device. Lower the presser foot lifter. Connect the intermediate connecting shaft of locking device and groove on the presser foot. Lifting the presser foot lifter, the presser foot will engage automatically. Caution! If the foot has not been picked up, check to make sure the cutout is directly above the pin of the foot and repeat the steps. Using the adapter and foot pedal, connect the adapter by inserting the jack plug into the DC input and the jack plug or foot pedal into the foot pedal input. Then you can use the foot pedal to control the machine instead of using the hand switch. More easier and convenient to operate. Caution! Make sure the foot pedal and adapter are unplugged from the machine when you're not using it, so the sewing machine won't accidentally start up. Installing the batteries Remove the battery compartment under the bottom of machine. Insert 4 times AA batteries into the compartment per the positive and negative signs on the box and replace the battery cover. Caution! 1. Make sure the power switch is on the OFF position when inserting or changing the batteries. 2. The adapter and batteries cannot be used at the same time otherwise will cause the damage on machine. Please take out the batteries when using adapter. 3. The batteries should be inserted in right positive and negative position direction, otherwise the machine will not work. Sewing 1. First of all, turn the hand wheel counterclockwise to raise the needle to its highest position. 2. Raise the presser foot lifter. 3. Take out of the sample fabric from left side of the machine and leave the thread about 15 centimeters. 4. Place the fabric under the presser foot, lower the presser foot. 5. Turn the hand wheel counterclockwise 2 to 3 rounds to make sure there is no jamming in the stitches. 6. Slide the power switch to the low or high speed position and the machine will automatically start sewing. We recommend the low speed for beginners. 7. Turn off the switch, raise the needle up, turn the pattern selection dial to the pattern stitch you want. 8. When you finished sewing, turn off the switch, turn the hand wheel to raise the needle up, lift the presser foot and then gently remove the fabric from left and cut the thread with the thread cutter. Caution! Before starting sewing, it is important to make sure the threading is correct. Otherwise, it may not sewing. Every time, turn the hand wheel should be in counterclockwise direction as the arrow shows. When you want to change the pattern stitch, stop sewing and turn the hand wheel to raise the needle all the way up so it doesn't get bent. Adjusting stitching. If the top and bottom thread looks too tight or loose, you can turn the upper thread tension dial to adjust the stitching tents. When the top thread looks like a straight line indicating an over tight top thread, turn the upper thread tension dial to a smaller number to reduce tension. Different fabric with different tension. Turn the tension dial to a smaller number until the stitching back to normal. When the bottom thread looks like a straight line indicating the top thread is too loose, turn the upper thread tension dial to a bigger number to increase tension. Different fabric with different tension. Turn the tension dial to a bigger number until the stitching back to normal. Reverse sewing. To sew backwards, press and hold down the reverse lever while you're sewing. Caution! You should only use reverse sewing on straight stitches number 1 to 4. 
This is useful for reinforcing the seam. Sewing sleeves. Place the cloth over the sewing arm, then start to sew. Buttonhole sewing. One, change the foot to the buttonhole foot. Two, put the cloth under presser foot and lower the presser foot lifter. Then choose eighth stitch. Turn on the switch and sew five to six stitch in low speed then turn off switch. 3. Choose the seventh stitch. Turn on switch and sew on the cloth in suitable length. Then turn off the switch. Note that try to keep sewing stitch in straight line. 4. Choose the eighth stitch to sew five to six stitch in low speed. Then turn off switch. 5. Raise the presser foot, rotating the cloth for 180 degrees. 6. Choose the seventh stitch and set the needle to the right position on the fabric. Then lower down the presser foot, turn on switch and sew till buttonhole is over sewed fully. Nailing button. Change the foot to nail button foot, put the fabric under the presser foot, Put the button on the fabric where you need to nail the button. Move the fabric with button under presser foot. Check if they are under the right position. Then lower down the presser foot. Choose the eighth stitch. Turn the hand wheel slowly, adjusting the position of the hole while the needle swinging around. Then turn on switch. Sew four to five stitch in low speed. Then turn off switch after done. If you want to nail cross line or double line, doing the steps as above. Caution. Before nailing button, you must turn the hand wheel slowly and make sure the needle will only stab into the buttonhole while swinging around in case of breaking the needle. Make sure the whole distance of the button you choose match the needle swinging when it's settled at eight stitch in case of nailing on the side of button will break the needle. Important safety instructions. One, always disconnect from the power supply when changing the needle. Two, children should only use the appliance with adult supervision. Three, never run the machine when there's thread in the needle, but no fabric on the machine. This could damage the machine. 4. Don't use the machine outdoors. 5. Whenever the sewing machine is not in use, make sure it is switched off and unplugged from the power supply. 6. Keep the machine in a dry and ventilated place. 7. This machine is not a toy. 8. Don't disassemble the machine unless you're a professional. 9. Turn off switch and unplug the adapter when you're not using the machine.